false dilemma fallacy, false dichotomy fallacy, two words for the exact same fallacy. At least that is what it seems to say just about everywhere that I see them documented. Yet, are they really the exact same thing, or is one really more of a subset of the other? And are both terms needed in our list of fallacies, or can we afford to let one of those terms go by the wayside? And if we can, does it matter which of those terms we let go of? I will get into that question in just a moment. Hello, Internet. This is Sophia, the Red Angel, doing my best on this channel to bolster social justice, examine the popular culture, and promote the general betterment of society through the powers of logic, reason, and respect for evidence. If you like that, then subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, share, and comment. And I hate to announce a new schedule change so soon after my last one, but I have decided that it is best that Sunday be the one day of the week that I will regularly upload a new video, and that any video on Thursday or any other day of the week be only when special circumstances call for it. This change is the best both for my own self-care and for the long-term health of this channel. Anyway, most of the documentation on fallacies would suggest that the false dilemma and the false dichotomy are just two words for the same fallacy. It is a fallacy that you commit by insisting that one of a limited number of possibilities must be true without first making sure that those really are the only possibilities. Very often, one then proceeds to supposedly prove their favored possibility by demonstrating how all of the other possibilities in the limited set cannot be true. This proof, of course, is fallacious because even if your refutation of the other possibilities within the limited set is sound, which it may or may not be, you still have failed to properly rule out possibilities that are beyond that limited set that you have specified. For example, you could arbitrarily say that I must live in either New Orleans, Cleveland, or San Francisco. Then, by demonstrating that I live in neither New Orleans nor Cleveland, you might prove that I live in San Francisco. There would only be one problem, though. In reality, I live in Philadelphia, which is not New Orleans and not Cleveland, but also is not San Francisco. Clearly what is being referred to by these labels is indeed a terrible way of thinking, but are false dilemma and false dichotomy really just two names for exactly the same fallacy? Well, the Merriam-Webster dictionary defines dichotomy as, quote, a division into two especially mutually exclusive or contradictory groups or entities, unquote. On the other hand, it defines dilemma as, quote, a usually undesirable or unpleasant choice, unquote, or, quote, a problem involving a difficult choice, unquote, or, last but not least, as, quote, an argument presenting two or more equally conclusive alternatives against an opponent. Unquote. Granted, I have abridged these lists of definitions by omitting those that are either too redundant or unrelated to what we are discussing. 
But nonetheless, one key distinction is that the definitions of dichotomy tend to involve giving you two options, no more and no less. Definitions of dilemma, on the other hand, involve multiple options, but do not necessarily limit the number to two, and one of the definitions even specifically says that it can be more than two options. For this reason, rather than the two fallacy labels referring to the same fallacy, I submit that false dichotomy is actually a subset of false dilemma. False dilemma would refer to any case in which you prematurely limit the range of possibilities that are under consideration, and false dichotomy would refer only to the cases of false dilemma in which the number of possibilities that you are prematurely limiting things to is the number two. But do we need both labels in our nomenclature of fallacy identification? Or is one of those labels just needlessly inflating the list of fallacies without contributing anything to justify doing so? And if the latter is the case, does it matter which one we let go of? My answer is we do need the label of false dilemma, but I recommend that false dichotomy be listed as an obsolete name, not for the false dilemma itself, but for a subset of it. This is because false dilemma covers the full range of the fallacy, while false dichotomy really only covers a subset that has no real need for being distinguished from the rest of it. Anywho, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and leave your comment in the comments area below. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that the bell icon is active so as to increase the chance that you receive notifications when I upload new videos to this channel in the future. Share this video with your friends and everyone else, whether by social media or by whatever other means. And until next time, see ya!